Lou, what's up, bro? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. It's been a minute. Uh, it has been. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I've from, been in New York for a while, so there you go. I know you from back from Chatsworth Powerhouse. Right, House. exactly. Okay. We both Which, had long hair. And it doesn't exist there anymore, no, it does it? No. Wow. Yeah. That was a great gym. Yeah. It's too that. bad. Dr. Dre was there too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Danny Trejo. Steve Trejo. All the time, yeah. I mean, you know, and, and a lot of porn stars, which was, <laughs> that made things interesting. I said that. I was telling my friend earlier. You know what? You know you've made it until you play yourself in a film. You know, it's weird, man. You know, it's, uh, you know, one of those iconic moments, you know, you're in the zeitgeist. Uh, and, and what's fun about this is that, you know, it's not Nick Cage meta, but it's up there. Uh, it's not the first time I've played myself. Yeah, I played, yeah, I played myself in Cougar Town, uh, You're the Worst, and another little uh, film short called uh, uh, Lucy in the Sky of a Diamond. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just bizarre because uh, so many of my characters have... have uh, been icons unto themselves, you know. I'm not as cool as the characters I play. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but, but you know, to, to to realize that you know, people have certain assumptions or they identify with me in a certain way, and it's and it's kind of fun, you know, to, to make a little fun of that. No doubt. Um, I've interviewed you before, and you told me you're Tejano. Yeah, I was at a time. Yeah. Oh, you were. You changed. Well, I haven't I haven't lived in Texas for thirty something years. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up in Corpus Christi, you know, uh, and. Uh, 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 my dad still lives down there. I get back every once in a while, but you know, I've been I've been in uh, L.A. and uh, New York uh, um, mostly, you know, recently. But I'm you know I'm still tied with the Texas roots. Gotcha. Ever eaten a Jollibee? Um, you know, I believe I have, but it's been a long time. Yeah, but you know what? In in Manila, I ate I ate at one of those in Manila. When I, Tia and I went over in 2004, uh, we had done uh, a lot of work for the Filipino war war veterans. Uh, to get their benefits back, and we went over in uh, Gloria Macabagal Arroyo, the, uh, the the president at the time, uh, threw us a wonderful, uh, you know, celebration. G uh, gave us uh, some nice citations. Uh, so yeah, we had we had a great like week in Manila, uh, and that was the last time I've been back. Why did Joe Coy have you in this film? Do you have do you know the reason? Um, well, I mean, <laughs> you're making me to my own horn here, man. Because, <laughs> I mean, he said it uh, a bunch of times, and some of the other cast have said it. It's like, I was sort of the first Filipino to break through in Hollywood, you know, uh, uh, playing everything but Filipino, but, you know, to, to be up on the big screen. And, and for Joe, that was an inspiration. And it means a lot to me that, you know, that it touched him, that it motivated him, inspired him. Uh, and... and you know, I, it was, it's, it's a little bit of a shout out to the OG to, you know, ask me to be a part of the movie. No doubt. Can't wait to watch it and uh, love seeing you, man. You too, brother. Take care, right? Welcome to Fab TV. Look at Hollywood's latest, see? All the red carpets dressed to a T. Yeah, you know me. It's all free.